found another corpse yesterday. Drained to the last drop. Not an ounce of blood left. Skin and bones. Past. Streets aren't safe no more. Ah, you got nothing to fear. Haven't you heard? The beast only attacks rich blokes. Won't even glance at you. It's this devil. Since when's a monster care if it matters well for your poor? Maybe they taste yeah. different. You know, a fish lives in the pot. Is there something here that I'm supposed to do? Am I in Velen? No, I'm in no- what? No, I'm not. There was... I swear there was something. Different a monster, but... That swims clear mountain streams. Must be something else, though. You'll choke to death on three pounds of... You've got a bow, guy! You've got a bow! Oh! one's come out. boss has got a voracious appetite. I hear him squealing like sad. Wow! Eh, I could do with a little fleshy diversion myself. What do you want? Where's Horson Jr.? Oh, this one's got bollocks, don't it? You Junior guys are wearing the stuff! Around. Here to talk about the new girls for Horson. Never seen you here before. You know him. Can't say that I do. Uh... I'm new here. Yeah? What happened to Norbert? Cleaver happened to him. Ah! Better than to die of consumption. Remember? He looked a bit on the <laughs> down side. Alright. But next time, remember to bring the tarts for Junior through the back by way of the old canal. Go through there. Thanks. I'll keep it in mind. Alrighty then. Oh. Around the back we go. The mark of a I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you and I'm gonna make you squeal, bro. You're gonna tell me everything I wanna know. Another day gone to shit. Another day gone to shit. No, no, guy. The day has just begun. It really has. It's only like 10 a.m. in this game. Yo! I'll throw them in here, make them clean up or something, and then throw them down the well. Whew. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, okay, good. So far, I haven't died from that kind of a fall. Jeez. They bring him in through here? It's gotta be terrifying. Part two. Oh, okay. I'm it. Oh ho! Was there a sneakier way? I was just poking buttons and walls and stuff. I don't know, man. 
I didn't know this was the actual way. Hold up, man. I'm looking. I'm looking around. Oh, okay. Well, what's over here? Oh, look. Alright, I guess I'll go search those guys then. That's a dead end, too. Pretty sure. Whoop. So you're supposed to break in through there? <laughs> that seems a bit odd. Ooh, this tech. Aww. There's no key. Well. Oh, okay. Go up. Yo, big boy. I'm here. Ready for a good time? Woo. Yo! Keep it together, legs. <laughs> no! It's nice being very overpowered for this. Any of you guys got a key? Dude, can I just walk out this door? Oh my gosh, I can. Hey, buddy. Hopefully I've unlocked that door and now I can come in however I want. Fucking degenerate. He so much as touched Siri, he'll pay. What? What the heck? Is she dead? Nailed it to the wall. What? What? Oh man, he's dead. Kill horse son Jr. You're darn right. Oh my gosh. What the heck? This game is not worried about. <gasps> he killed him. Oh, you're so dead, man. You're dead. I'm gonna murder you so much. <gasps> oh my gosh, what kind of monster is he? What the sandwich fuck is this? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna murder you. No, fuck me. After you tell me what I need to know, I'm gonna murder you. Help me for fuck's sake! No one's coming. <laughs> Stop! for you a while now. I've come to kill you. I'll give you all I got. This is intense. Oh my gosh. How many women did he kill? How could they not gang up on him? Like I'll tell you everything. I'm looking for a young woman and a minstrel. I know you've met them. A bird? What fucking bird? Ashen-haired with a sword on her back, just like me. Yeah, yeah. 
that was I, I I remember. Pay attention now. You'll tell the truth. Want to know why? I won't lie. Honest. Took me a long time to find you. Wasn't an easy road to travel. I'm angry and tired. Had to talk to people I didn't want to talk to. Wouldn't normally talk to. Some of them tried to cheat me. Some tried to lie. I didn't like it one bit. I feel like one more lie to be the last bitter drop in a chalice full of salt. Whoa! And then, then I'd do something I would later regret. Now you know why you can't lie to me? Yes. Good. Gerald freaking waxed eloquent there. I'd like to know how the ashen-haired woman ended up meeting you, and what happened to her. What happened to her? She attacked me! Lie one more time, and I'll cut your balls off. <laughs> We've made a deal. I was to repair their magic filler, what's it? That girl and the songster were to bring me Siggy Reuven's treasure. They didn't, so I might have flown off the handle a bit, I admit. What did you do? I nabbed their flunky, Dodo, and waited for them to come for him. Look, this. Here's what they wanted fixed. A phylactery? I was gonna say like a phylactery, that's a blood holder, Not isn't me. it? I know a guy. Did Wasting I just... my time, Junior. Oh, Good did I just details. hit him in the balls? I'll tell you, tell you all. Just the way it happened. Oh, we're gonna go flash back to Siri now. Uh oh. Oh, buddy. Got a bad feeling about this. Calm down, Dandelion. I can't leave Doo Doo in Horson Jr.'s hands, you know that. I know, I know, but my gut can't be reasoned with, and no amount of sympathy I feel can silence it, blot it out. Siri! That Skellige outfit! I'll go in alone, you know? You'll stay outside. I can't let you go alone. Anything happens to I you, I thought he was older than this. My head off. Someone must secure our retreat. There's bound to be a struggle. Things could get intense. We'll need to flee fast. Disappear in the crowd. Disappear in the crowd! Have you learned where Horson is keeping Dudu? Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. I'll need to cross onto the roof. Wait for me in front of Junior's house. And I know it's difficult, but do try to look inconspicuous. If they... If they hurt you, Horson will pay. I must climb onto the roof. I'm Siri! Whoa, look how bad A we look in our Skellige armor! Can I talk to Dandelion? Nope, okay. All right, climb onto the roof. Wow, Siri in a city, wow, weird. All right, all right, we're figuring things out. One with the balcony. Room on the top floor, one with the balcony. Room on the top floor, one with the balcony. Not that one. These look so cool. And our Skellig has a... Uh, room on the top floor, one with the balcony. One with the balcony. One with the balcony. the balcony. Let's see what's inside. Uh-oh. Locked. Uh, open. And now, my dear Dodo, I believe I'll try a different tool. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You'll fucking bar me, Junior! Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Once they get to know me. So, you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. Siri, you didn't you didn't pull out your sword. Fucking kill you! Oh. 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 you little whore. Oh. Ah. Where's Ruben's treasure? Oh. Oh. Yikes! Fucking kill you! Oh. Oh. 
Why is this not work? Why? He's only level 15. And now I can't see anything. Time to go. Did they hide him? Go. Her, her abilities, they take a little bit to get used to. That's what happened. Tell you true. Doo doo, what happened to him? I don't fucking know. Prick vanished. There one moment, gone the next. What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. One of the boys got her in the back, but she's alive, I swear it. Got anything else to say? I've told you all I know. Everything. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. I beg you. Got what I deserve. You have not gotten what you deserve by far. Please. Let me tell you where things stand. I'm looking for this woman, cause she's like a daughter to me. And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no. No, well, I'm not doing this for Siri necessarily. Tell Siri what I've learned about do do I wish I could let these let these women down. This is just I I killed him for this. 
Siri can take care of herself. Huh? Oh, we got a bunch of new quests because we finished uh, this one. This place, this place is sickens me. I want to get out, 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 out. Where is the door? Let me out. Yay! Come on, boyos. Oh, I'm trying to do serious thing. You all deserve to die knowing what your boss did. Bring it on! Bring it on, all of you! Get it over with. Get it out of your systems. Oh, you're gonna burn in hell. Yep, keep it together, keep it together, keep it together. You're all dead. 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 Where's Siri? Does Carol get to see Siri? Ah! She's not. Nuh-uh. She's not in friggin' Novigrad. Wait, no. Priscilla. No. That is her name. Her full name is Priscilla. I thought. Uh. Oh, wait. Man, I wish it would tell me. Huh. In hindsight, putting Siri in touch with Orson was not one of my brightest ideas. <laughs> oh, okay. So Dudu did lose an eye. Yeah, having I think having Hjalmar being tempered by Ceres is gonna be good. Oh Priscilla, that's right, that's right, Priscilla, that's right, I had to tell Priscilla. Right, right, right. I thought I guess Cirilla. Cirilla is Siri's full name. Okay, okay, okay. That's right. I told Priscilla I'd tell her what's up. All right. Well, let's go to the western gate, and we'll just fast travel to High Arc Square. Let's see if we can get out of here. Oh, hello. Yo, Seems should I have gone out a different way? It's time you return the favor. Oh, right, right, Rabbit right. Doesn't like to wait much, does he? No, he doesn't. Oh, no, apparently he not. Does not. You'll come with us. I have to go talk to somebody. I don't want to talk to your mad king. The HMS Oxenford Tretagor. What? Once the crown jewel of the Redanian fleet. I don't want to get on a boat. Commission now, though. Nice boat. Don't let me on a boat. You'll need to leave it's your weapons. Technically, a ship. I think the definition is, um, uh, a, a ship, ship is something that can carry a boat. Noble women. Ladies from the most prominent families gave up their jewelry. A spur of the moment, patriotic impulse. You're a homeless wanderer. Can't understand what it is to truly love one's country. Yeah, or they were forced to. Through fear of getting their heads chopped off from the Mad King. Oh, he's a mad king. There you are. Yo. Need something from me, your majesty?
You've never been one to mince words. Philippa Eilhart! Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. That's who I was trying to think of earlier, but it doesn't match the I ordered name. her eyes gouged out once. But apparently her blindness troubles her not. My hunters have detected Lady Eilhart hiding east of Oxenfurt. They have further established that she has magically sealed the entrance to her shelter. Entering it will be difficult. I believe you might succeed in doing so. Bring her to me. Alive. Philippa Eilhart? What's she looking for here? I suspect she wants to find her old friends. Reconvene the lodge. Perhaps she seeks revenge on me. Lady Eilhart is known for her persistence. At times I recall the lessons she gave me when I was a child. Her teachings as memorable as the punishment she meted out. She was subtle and patient in her cruelty. I took her sight, but she remains dangerous. I'd advise you to be cautious. Philip is using magic. You'd be better off sending mages after her. I agreed to the Conclave's revival, but what has this brought me? The mages at my side are mediocrities, cowards. They couldn't hold a candle to the likes of Eilhart, Loantiel, or Merigold. There's ah. always your witch hunters. You are the best witch hunter. You've proven it clearly. Sheila de Tanzerville and Philippa Eilhart's plan. You were the one to foil it. I want you to finish what you started. Now go to the mountains and bring me Philippa Eilhart. How does he expect me to bring her in alive? Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. This is, uh, this is way over my head. This is getting way over my head. Philippa Eilhart. Okay, okay. Whoa, well, why can't I act? Oh, because I'm on a, I'm on a boat. Yay, I got two experience points. Oh, dang it. Oh, so she did actually lose her sight. Philippa Eilhart, one-time advisor to King Vizimir, called the Just. Member of the Council of Majors. Oh, she founded the Lodge of Sorceresses, played a momentous part in the history of the royal villain Geralt's life. There could be no denying her talent, yet neither could one claim she also did not, at times, demonstrate sickly ambition. Very trustworthy reports indicated that she had a hand in King Vizimir's death. And as a member of the Lodge, was implicated in the murder of two other monarchs as well. Demven of Erdin and Foltest of Temeria. For this reason, the one-time jewel of the court at Tretagor was now a wanted woman, and the quarry of special forces from the north and Nilfgaard alike. Vizimir's son and successor, Radivir V, was particularly eager to capture her. During their last encounter in Loch Mune, Muin, Muin, he had Philippa's eyes gouged out, yet she had fled, and he wanted nothing more than to stick the head of Tretagor's jewel on a spike above the city gates. Interesting. Radovid, where you at, buddy? Radovid, 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 Oh, went too far. Radovid. He burned with a particular intense hostility, first kindled in his other childhood for the sorceress Philippa Eilhart. Brimmer spoke of a special torture regimen he had prepared just for her, and all the two dozen points they mentioned. Uh, were surely an exaggeration. They accurately convey the general scale of his hatred. Yeah. I remember her from the books. I could never tell what she wanted. I could never... I still don't really know exactly what she wanted. Yen, neither. I could not tell what Yen wanted. Your arms. Thanks. Thanks. Never seen better steel in my life. Blade must strike true, no? It's a matter of the hand, not the steel it's holding. Yeah, buddy boy. Thank you for my things. I got. Pardon me. What? Which Geralt of Rivia? I <laughs> know a merchant from Lyria. Yeah. What do you want? I have a message for you. Hang on. Who from? Read it. You'll know. Who are you? Perfumed letter. Oh, Triss! Oh no, it's Triss! Oh no! Like Triss must have been. I should find her. Now or never, what? Oh, it means I have to break up with her. But first, I gotta talk to Priscilla. Gosh dang it, you people! 
keep sending quests on me. Uh, back up and out and into the high arc square. Jeez Louise, that was a, that's a lot of quests and or cutscenes that were just thrown at me. Priscilla! I come to tell you the news about doo doo for whatever reason. I don't know why you're interested in doo doo. I thought you'd be more interested in. Closed for stock taking. Okay. Well, how the friggin'. How in the friggin' am I supposed to talk to you, Priscilla? There better be a decent back way. Yo! Oh, she upstairs. Hi, guy. Don't mind me. I'm just here to talk to your star. Well, she wanders where she will, but apparently she's staying here. Oh, not up here? One more down. Gosh dang it. Walk so slowly in houses. Oh. oh, you're still here too. <laughs> All right, hey, let's chat. Think I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan, but we need Dudu. Got to find him. This plan. What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Dudu? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but his home. In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time... This time he hasn't returned. Known Dudu long. I know this might sound strange, but... I can't be sure. <laughs> it seems he'd been circling me for some time in various forms, trying to attract my attention. Can't blame him for making the effort. Thank you. I failed to notice him at first. Then he decided to shoot the moon, assumed Dandelion's form. What tipped you off? How do you know it wasn't Dandelion? Do you do not much of a singer? No. He simply spoke about something other than himself. <laughs> we need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion? Irina Reynard's troop, that's all really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings? Yes, I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Foxen's help. Hmm, so if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply indebted to him. Dudu and the mummers, how'd they meet? That was my doing. Some opening night. Maxon lay comatose in his wardrobe, drunk as an otter. <laughs> I thought of Dudu. Hard to imagine a better actor than a Doppler. And Dudu revealed himself to them just like that? I didn't think it wise to tell anyone. But Dudu and Irina took to each other completely and right away. He fell so hopelessly in love with the theatre. He would, yeah, yeah. performing with you. Yeah. Now Irina feels terribly guilty. They let him put himself in danger. She can't forgive herself. Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to Dudu into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea, but I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, do you really think Dudu whiles away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play, from scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Dudu's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. <laughs> it must be the talk of the town. 
If you wish, we can start on it right away. Do it. Not sure I'm cut out to write a play. <laughs> Maybe you're better off doing this on your own. It's sure to go quicker if you help me. You'll see. We'll have a grand time together. She's going to kick me out. All right. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping... The key is to convince Doody that he can rely on you and that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? Ah! More or less. That'll do. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know. Lorenzo Moller. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit. And the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide. And can only count on the help of his friend. Who's a witcher. Who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No. Better. His beloved. Hmm. What do you think? <coughs> sure. Sounds great. Really think so? Lorenzo Moller. Yeah. Mm. Or perhaps not. Wait, ah! I've got it. We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel call <laughs> <and a cruel laughs> midnight. But at which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Parvea. They want him dead, but at that instant a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? Need a good title. We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Yeah, of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. <laughs> I have two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? Uh, the Doppler's Salvation. Let's go with the Doppler's Salvation. It's shorter, catchier. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Hmm, all right. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter, listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. Drama. Mm, you're right. A drama'd be better. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner. <laughs> Sit down. Read silently or just think. All right? Fine. Since you don't need help with the writing. <laughs> this Geralt, chair. wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? <laughs> Ugh, just keep quiet. <laughs> a few hours later, he's such a dad. Done. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but... We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Doodoo. -doo. What did you weave in? Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or... That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all! You wrote it to contact Doodoo. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? <laughs> I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by his scar. Or just improvising? Shall we worry about that later? First, we must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? The troop performs in the butcher's yard of the main. I think I've run into him before. Join us later. See ya. Alright, I definitely need to call it here though. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is getting intense! The light just got darker. Alright. My my goodness, the plays the thing. Let's let's look really quick. Let's look at the Oh, okay. Uh we uh... 
Now or never, talk to the witch hunters, meet Roach. An eye for an eye, huh? Huh. Interesting. So many things, so many things. Things are getting really interesting. So, and I'm way leveled ahead for these, for these. Like, it's, it's pretty crazy how far ahead I am, but it's all good. I don't mind. I am not getting much, uh, freaking experience from these at all, but that's all right. Anyway, I'm gonna go now. It's the eve of Halloween at time of recording, so much to be done. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys have a good Halloween. I hope you had a good one. By the time this goes out, it'll be way past Halloween. I hope you have a good holiday season. <laughs> so thanks again. I'll see you in the next one.